The horse head? <laughs> oh, yeah. That is like the weirdest. I don't know. That, that horse head and that, that weird bull thing. They creep me out. That one especially because it has weird, it's like, like big old yeah. white yeah. eyes. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. yeah. Yourself one more time for the camera. Sure. Candace Hansen. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Introductions. Uh, my name is Jacob um, from Concord. I am uh, Candace's fiance. What else should I say? Uh, Jacob and I first met at Stanford Singles Ward. Um, he was talking to Emily Guillory in the um, sacrament meeting area, chapel, that's what it's called, the chapel, and I was sitting outside, um, I was sitting outside waiting for her in the cultural hall, and what had happened was Jacob and Emily were flirting. So Emily faked like she didn't know me, and we'd been on several dates, but by several it's like two or three, I guess it depends on, you know, how you classify dates, but, um, you know, we were in the same ward for like a number of semesters, so... You know, she was like, hey, you're kind of familiar. I'm like, yeah, you're Emily Gillery. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, she's like, oh, yeah, that's right. Um, so that was a good ego check, like right at the door. I was really hungry. It was fastened it. So I just kept making really ugly faces, trying to get Emily's attention, trying to get her to laugh and come. Um, and so finally Emily said, my friend Candace is outside. She's really hungry and wants to go because we carpooled. Like the first time that I ever saw her, she was wearing this, this this great dress. It was at church, you know, so it's like, you know, dressed up. And um, it was it was a fast Sunday, so um, she had this, like, spiky ponytail coming out of the side of her head. Um, it looked like it was straight out of the 80s. And then she introduced me to Jacob, and that's how we met. <laughs> so Candace and I both used to be... Um, uh, well, I used to be really overweight. Um, Candace, I guess you could say she was, um, uh. I think I fell in love with Jacob when I realized how much he truly loved and cared for me and how much I knew he was gonna be an amazing husband and father. And I knew that his number one priority was to do everything he could to make me happy. And seeing that made me realize that like all those other losers I dated that were really like really only concerned with their bodies and their appearances. <laughs> uh, less into working out than she is now. That's 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 probably the best way to say it. So now she really enjoys exercising just just like I do. So that was something that also was very like oh. <laughs> Um, it was way more important to me to have somebody that really wanted to raise a family in the church and make sure that I was happy as his wife. So that's when I fell in love with them. Um, I think she has a great butt, to be honest. <laughs> uh, like that's, I, I mean, it is, it is phenomenal. I mean, you know, she, uh, she, she, she works hard at it. So the effort shows, let me just say, say that. So that's what I would say is. Yeah. I love how strong and broad he is because he makes me feel really petite and little. <laughs> and his dimples are adorable. Yeah. What do I think Candace said is her favorite thing about me? Which I think is my dimples, I think. Jacob said I love you first. Did you say it back? I pretended I was asleep. <laughs> What? For real? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I had several times, obviously, I mean, like, you've, you know, when you decide to work up the courage to tell a girl that, it's not something that you're just like, ah, I'm going to do it. You usually, like, think about it a lot. Um, and there were several chances for me to do it throughout the evening, um, but I just kind of chickened out. And uh, But then I was like, I'm not going home again tonight without saying this. And so I thought she was more awake than she was. Apparently not. Right. It was the first time I'd ever someone had ever said that to me, so I didn't know what to do. <laughs>
that's adorable. <laughs> Did you ever say I love you back? I did. <laughs> when? I confronted him. Um, he kind of came up to me the next day and was like, so were you like really asleep last night? And I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, you didn't hear anything? And I said, no, what are you talking about? And finally he said, well, he said, I love you. And I was like, oh, you did? Oh, I love you too. <laughs> you had some time to process. Yeah, I just was like, oh my gosh, she really said it. Oh, I don't know what to do. And then I just pretended to still be sleeping. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Yep. <laughs> okay. Okay, so Candace has tenacity that is unrivaled. Um, so when she gets in an idea or when she feels like something needs to be done at whatever timeline or in whatever way, um, she, she will at first try to be um, like kind about it and be like, hey, like maybe this should happen. Um, and when I don't do that, then it slowly escalates. He likes to get a rise out of me. So a lot of times I'm really kind of nosy. And so he tries to keep really stupid details from me. And he won't tell me like certain things. He's like, oh, no, it doesn't matter. You don't need to know. But I need to know and I need to know. And he won't tell me. So like he always is trying to get like me like irritated or like worked up. And that's probably the one thing I could do without. <laughs> so first it'll be like nice and then it'll be like she'll try to like trick me into doing something, which I can always see like a mile off. Or if it's even more, then she's, she's very persistent and, and she'll keep bringing it up until I just do that thing, what, you know, whatever it is. Which historical figure do you think personifies Jacob the most? Um, I would say Abraham Lincoln because his beard looks like his. <laughs> and he's really like, I don't know. Yeah, you have a top hat? Should I in. should put him in a top hat. Okay, sweet. Wedding night. <laughs> I would say Helen of Troy because, uh, I mean, if, if, if I was, you know, vying for her hand, there's really no, no length that I would go, just like what happened to Helen of Troy. So I would, I, I would say her. She's powerful. She's pretty beautiful really so yeah <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm not, yes please yes. snap that um. <laughs> she really likes this um oh man it's uh it's just like it's got megan trainer in it um, let's Marvin Gaye by <laughs> Megan Trainer and Charlie Blum, because I like it. Uh, let's Marvin Gaye and get it on. You've got that love in that I want. <laughs> and then more things like that. <laughs> I'm going to do this to you. How many kids do I want to have? I would say anywhere between three and four. I want to have three. She wants to have four. I joke that we're going to have none, um, but, uh, oh, and then I think both of us kind of want to have twins, and I told her that if we have twins, we're done, and every single time she's like, nope, we're going to have one more, so it's like, well, okay. One more loader kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so um, hopefully, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't mind having, you know, three kids or twins or four, well, I don't really want four kids, but she wants four kids, so we're probably going to have four kids. I've also told her it's not like I'm not the one pushing them out of my body, so if she wants to do that four times, that's her prerogative. So I, I will have as many kids as she wants to have, I guess. My best impression of Jacob? What, 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 Candace? Like seriously? Oh, no, no, okay, no. That's right, I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, so normally whenever we're cuddling, like on the couch and I like w watching TV, um, she'll be laying on the couch and then uh, she'll, she'll like reach back like for my arm and like bring it up and like want to like snuggle with it and then she'll, she'll be like ooh and she'll like, and she'll like look and, and be like oh you know oh, please and then she'll ask for like a, like a shoulder massage or something so I'm like okay you know or like or or yeah she, she'll always do this one she'll be like am I peeling can, can you I think I'm peeling can you scratch my back She's like, oh yeah, up higher, to the right, to the left. Um, 
Where do you want to live when like you're like put down your roots? Obviously Los Altos, but that's probably never gonna happen. So we've talked about either Texas or Utah. I told her that I want to move to Texas, but my plan is if I lowball her with a place like Texas, then we'll settle on a place that's more agreeable. Or Hawaii. <laughs> We, we joke about going to Hawaii, and I told her if we go there, there's like no return. So it's like, you know, if, if, if we're going, we're gonna stay. So, I mean, I think she would love to go to Hawaii. She would, she'd be thrilled to go to Hawaii, so we'll see. Where do you think we'll differ in parenting? I think that as much as I think I'm gonna be the like really like fun, free-spirited mom that's like totally the cool mom, I think I'm going to be like super paranoid and like stress cased all the time <laughs> and I'll probably run my house like my mom did, like a warden in a jail. <laughs> I'm going to be the disciplinary because I look serious most of the time. Um, like when I'm not smiling, I just look like this, um, you know, so th this is not like a very happy face or one that you'd want to like cross, whereas Candace is always smiling. I think Jacob will be a little bit more like it's okay, go ahead, have fun. And I'll be like, no, you have to do that like right now because you can't go out with your friends if you don't. But, you know, who knows? I'm going to be the really strict one. I, I'll be the one handing out discipline. Um, but actually, I, I, I think both of us are going to have to be like, involved. You know, to be like really good parents, like both have to be unified. So, But I feel like I'll, I'll be the one initially handing out the harsh sentence and then we can go back later and like you know analyze if it's appropriate or not so our first kiss was in my family room after I beat him at Uno four times <laughs> and I was going to Hawaii the next day so he didn't want to leave without giving me a kiss so I wouldn't forget about him and it worked I'm not the guy who just like hangs out with girls you know so it's like if I meet a girl that I'm interested in I'm like listen I want to take you on, on a date like a real date. I don't, I don't do the whole hangout thing. So we had crossed that barrier, that like milestone. So I was like, well, I really want her to know that I'm not doing this just because I want to be friends. I want to be like more than friends. Were you playing Uno for a kiss? No, but I usually I would like bet something like that. And I did say like, let's make a bet. And then I like quickly remembered I was trying not to kiss people on the first date. So we, I was like, oh, back massage. And then he lost, and he was like frustrated, and he like leaned in and kissed me, and I was like, what? And then we just kissed. <laughs> nice. Wait, here or at my yep, house? Yep, right over there. Not at my mom's house. That, I think just winning and then rubbing it in really gets the endorphins <laughs> going. So, yeah, she beats me in tennis, Uno. Uh, I guess we can stop there, because I don't want to tell everything she beats me at, so. That's good. Yeah. That's good for you, that even when you lose, well, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. You want to lose, I'm ahead. So, you know, it's okay. I got you. Yeah. What's the weirdest thing Jacob does? Ooh, what's the weirdest thing Jacob does? Um, I would say, could it be like, some, like something that he's just weird about? Yeah. yeah. Mm, okay, there's a couple. Um, <laughs> I would say Jacob's most weird about the fact that he doesn't like going swimming in pools because he thinks they're dirty. And he used to have to wash every piece of clothing before he tried it on. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I do anything weird. I think I'm, you know, pretty, pre pretty normal guy. I can't imagine what she would think that. <laughs> um, let's see. There has to be something that I do that's weird. And that drove me bonkers. So that was our first fight, is I bought him a piece of clothing from Lululemon, and he insisted on washing it before trying it on. And I told him he couldn't do that, because then he couldn't take it back if it didn't fit. And so we got in a big fight about that. And then he tried it on. <laughs> I won. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you can't have like four or five things. But oh, is that right? Yeah. Of, of things that are that, 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 that weird. Actually, you know what? Time. I would like to add something else. I think she has an unhealthy obsession with getting a pet. <laughs> Whatever that, like, like, yeah. She loves, like, any dog. Any dog. Especially Ellie. 
The way I talk about my dog, Jacob thinks is really weird. I always tell her she's beautiful and how much I love her and <laughs> give her hugs and kisses and treat her like a human being and he thinks that's really weird. So, and I like to dress her up in dresses and give her nice things and he thinks that's weird when people dress their dogs up. <laughs> too much, Ellie, that's weird. She loves her dog too much. Can she hear me? She probably can. No. Okay. I mean, I don't think that it's too much, but she talks in this really high voice. She gets really excited, so that's probably weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm weird. All right. Okay, <laughs> I'll go get Jacob. Town. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Ok